Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 28th, 2019. Hey, it's Friday. We made it to Friday, and we're now facing the G20 meeting this weekend. <clears throat> what will the president, what will the presidents, I should say, do? Will U.S. and China come to some kind of an agreement, or will we come away with a knockdown, drag out fight. As our Treasury sec Secretary somewhat alluded, um, expecting that trade negotiations would not be completed until, uh, well, the hopefulness was maybe the end of this year. So, um, challenging times ahead, and it's a lot of unknown. What are we going to do? Well, I will tell you personally, <clears throat> I will protect my capital. Um, I, I don't see, I don't see a really good reason to rush into a uh, risk of this weekend. Even though the bulls are positive this morning, everything seems to be going well. Markets are holding up. I don't want to take additional risk or add additional risk heading into this weekend because of the potential volatility that could occur after. So that is my choice. You can, you're going to have to decide how are you going to face this weekend, considering, you know, we could come out with, you know, angry tweets and, um, um, uh, you know, or a possible deal. Who knows what, um, what can occur. I know I will likely reduce my positions, protect myself. I can always look at... Um, Adding in um, new risk on Monday. Keep in mind, we're going to, after this weekend, we're going right into the holiday weekend of the 4th of July. So let's take a look at what's going on technically in the chart. Trying not to predict anything, let's just look at what we have to deal with today and what the market is shaping up like. Well, this morning, first thing to notice is that the Dow futures are pushing higher this morning. You can see we're looking to get a small gap up, a modest gap up of around 50 points or more uh, this morning. Now, we do have some items on the economic calendar that may have something to say about that as we uh, move toward the open. But right now, bulls are holding up pretty positively. So let's take a look. Other than that, if we're going to pop and move higher, um, let's consider these um, levels of resistance right in here. And they're marked right back over here in this chart. We have these resistances of levels that we have to consider, those all-time highs. So after pulling back from here, any rally back up, if we can find a way to pop through these, then we've got those all-time highs possibly coming in the market. If um, we see more selling, if this turns into be more of a pop and drop where we pop up this morning and with the risk of the re um, weekend, we see more selling coming in, then I think as long as we hold above our 50-day moving average here, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. And by the way, if I were to draw a line right across here, that's where we're catching some price support right now. So, you know, we, we have both uh, scenarios that could play out here this morning. Um, bulls could decide, hey, they, they're not afraid of the G20 at all, what may happen. In fact, right now the market is just showing just remarkable confidence and really kind of pricing in, <clears throat> well, particularly in the light of the fact that next quarter they released information about next quarter earnings and the expectation is that, that uh, earnings overall will come in flat. So it's a little bit of a struggle um, to understand for me all-time highs if we're maybe not expecting such stellar results in the market. Um, that's putting an awful lot of hope into the fact that we are going to get a deal right here in G20, uh, maybe even this weekend, or we're holding an awful lot of hope in just how much the FOMC is going to cut interest rates, which at this time is almost like betting against the economy. So kind of an interesting dilemma that we're in right here. And it makes you just makes you wonder if we've maybe priced the market a bit to perfection here, um, because an awful lot is going to have to go right. An awful lot is going to have to go right to um, see this market move higher. But 
Yeah, anything is possible. Just kind of keep those things in mind and just remember, we don't want to try and predict what the market's going to do. We want to consider the things that are out there circulating around, kind of weigh those risk rewards, the odds of those trades, and then think about these levels of price resistance or price support and whether or not we believe um, we can hold those levels. Right now, trends are bullish. There's just no doubt about it. The uh, the diamonds is in a bullish trend. The bulls are still in control. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. No doubts here as well. The bulls are still in control. Um, we can see the SPY held up pretty well yesterday. A little bit of an indecisive candle here. But holding well above its 50-day moving average and hanging on to a level of price support in this chart. So we are holding just like we would expect to in the... Um, any kind of pullback, we do have to recognize the fact that we have an all-time high up here that we have not been able to hold on to. So what does that mean? Well, that means if we rally back up, this could become that resistance level right in here. So watch that as a resistance, and if we can break through there, this resist resistance of the all-time high. So that's what we have going on um, there. And then we have to consider the support that we see in the chart we have some price support right across here and we have that support of the 50-day moving average so we'll want to watch that closely if we do see more selling pushing us down we also have the benefit of the downtrend on this chart where that downtrend can oftentimes serve as that price support as we approach that 50-day moving average area so let's watch that close. As long as we stay above that 50, I'm still going to be uh, suggesting that the bulls are in control. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ still looking pretty good. Very indecisive day yesterday. Not very exciting in the price action for sure and for certain. Um, but we're holding above that 50-day moving average. We're holding above price support levels. So we have to give the day to the bulls. And uh, I think as long as we remain above that 50-day moving average, we hold that opportunity of moving higher. However, there is a question here in the queues, and this is the problem, because I, the queues did not break out to all-time new highs. That means we have a lower high that we're dealing with here in, in the NASDAQ. So if we were to rally back up, we want to consider that downtrend area in here and watch carefully for that potential failure right here. That might seal the deal if we were to fail again here uh, that we would break the 50-day moving average. Right now, I, I certainly don't want to predict that in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, the bulls are, are um, in enough in control that perhaps we just hold, we rest here, we consolidate, and we move on through. So lots of opportunity here on both ways um, in the queues, and we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. A little bit of uncertainty to deal with here, but we're holding about the 50-day moving average. The bulls are currently in control. Let's take a look at IWM. Interesting enough, um, IWM had a great day yesterday, um, while the rest of the market was just kind of bouncing around, um, uh, you know, um, being very indecisive, um, IWM decided to make some decisions yesterday and moved up sharply. And you can see we ended up just barely closing above its 50-day moving average yesterday, showing some strength here. Um, certainly not, not a chart that engenders a whole lot of overall confidence, but you can see this morning IWM is looking to move just a little bit higher this morning. Now that will still put it below this prior high in the chart and that still puts us well below this overall downtrend. But it's interesting that all of a sudden IWM has decided to wake up here yesterday and um, we'll have to keep a close eye on that. I think the most important thing is for the bullish case, we're going to have to get IWM up and prove it can hold that 50 and then show those buyers stepping in there willing to bring it up to um, give us some confidence to this trend. And then there may be some buying opportunities there in IWM if that occurs. If we fail again at price resistance, of course, um, that could be technically damaging to the chart. 
let's take a look at the VIX real quick. The VIX continues to just be a little bit baffling. There's just uh, no fear um, in this market. Even heading into the G20, it's, it's as if the market has stuck its head in the sand and says, hey, we just, we're just going to plain believe that a, a trade deal is going to be done, that, that we're not going to have any problems here. Um, and, and there's just no fear um, in this market. So sitting right around that level of price support um, um, in the VIX and um, still holding within this downtrend. So any rally into this area, we could watch for that potential failure to move us on down. Um, I wouldn't be too concerned about the VIX at all unless we break through here, hold something up in here as support, and then see that rally. So VIX, we want to keep an eye on it, but um, I don't see any fear here in the market to be um, overly concerned about, at least at the moment. Let's take a look at uh, T21, 22. The four-week new high, new low ratio. There's This is where we would have a little bit of concern today, I think. Um, yesterday, we saw a substantial move back up here in T21.22. And T21.22, all this really does is show us when we've kind of reached those stretched areas. You can see we get up toward this area and how how consistently this has been working here lately. We run up into this area and we, we pull back. So here we are pushing this level with a gap up morning this morning right now that we're looking at could push us right up into here again. Will the buyers continue to hold that up? And we can see that as possible. We've seen periods of time where we've pushed right on through and gone even higher. So is it possible? Absolutely. What it is showing us though is after this morning's open, we have that much room to the upside and we have this much room to the downside. So consider that carefully. Bulls are in control and they're showing bullishness this morning in the pre-market. We'll have to see if that holds, but just watch that area up there and don't be too surprised if we start to see a little bit of profit taking as we head into the weekend here. So just watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today because we do have a few things um, that will be um, influencing the market today. First, personal incomes and outlays out here. First thing, 8.30 this morning. That will be an important report and the most likely to move the market today. We follow that uh, closely behind by the Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment. Now, both of those can move the market, particularly if they're a big surprise. But I don't think anyone's expecting really big surprises here in these uh, two numbers today. So they can move the market, but um, more likely we're not going to see a big movement from those today. Just keep an eye on them. And then uh, keep in mind we do have a Fed speaker uh, later on today. Okay, on the earnings calendar, we had about 15 companies reporting earnings. There are a couple of companies to be made aware of. STZ. STZ Constellation Brands reported this morning with a nice bullish report gapping up this morning. Looks like we're going to gap up into this area. STZ showing some strength coming through here, possibly breaking that downtrend and actually setting up that opportunity. If this can pop up into here and hold um, upside opportunity possibly coming in the near future on STZ. Looking good on this morning gap up, so keep an eye on that. We also have KHC expected to report today. It is unconfirmed as to what time it will report, so kind of keep an eye on KHC. Those are the two, um, two reports that I would say were particularly notable today and um, really nothing else. So um, let's go back here and when we when we take a look at this market and, and the uncertainty that may be uh, circulating around this market, we're going to have to be really careful about how we approach this weekend. So I just want to caution everyone once again to consider carefully the risk of this weekend. How much are you willing to risk um, based on the outcome of this Saturday meeting between uh, um, the Chinese leader and the, and the U.S. president on trade negotiations. Um, anything is possible, so be careful and consider that carefully as, you, as we move toward the weekend.
So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You know, guys, um, you are absolutely and totally responsible for the growth of this channel. I do my best to put out good quality content, but it's really up to you guys to uh, to continue uh, the growth of of this channel. And it's because of those thumbs up buttons and you guys leaving comments um, that is doing that. Thank you so much for that as we continue to see this growth. I uh, truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you that take the time to do that. You mean the world to me. And honestly, the kindness in, in the comments, guys, uh, very humbling to me. So thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. It means the world to me. So keep clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving comments. And remember, if this is the first time you've seen this video, click that subscribe button and then click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I put one of these videos out. Uh, very, very close to 600 videos now on YouTube. Thank you everyone for continuing to support what we do. Appreciate it very, very much. Let's talk about uh, some trades that could be setting up, some places that we might want to look uh, for some potential trades. Now we've had some of these trades I've, I've talked about multiple times. Let's take a look at McDonald's. McDonald's making its move finally yesterday, trying to break above this little consolidating resistance area. It's one of those stocks that I've been talking about for a while. And now it is finally starting to make that move, break that consolidation, and possibly move higher. Keep an eye on McDonald's. There may be an opportunity there. It's, you know, one of those more expensive stocks, but unfortunately, all stocks are kind of expensive right now um, because we've pushed everything so high. But McDonald's just looking strong, looking good, wanting to go up here. So let's keep an eye on uh, McDonald's. Um, a, a cheaper stock that I've been mentioning and talking about for a bit, um, Avon, AVP. AVP um, showed a little bit of a bullish move yesterday right off of this trend. Now, we we popped through that resistance, pulled back, held trend, and honestly um, did a pretty good job of holding on to this price support. So I would keep an eye on AVP. It's possible this could push on through. But I want everyone to consider on anything that I'm showing you here, none of these stocks are um, meant as a recommendation to buy or sell anything. These are just stocks that I'm paying attention to, watching closely for potential trades. But I don't want anyone to um, come away with the impression that I'm recommending these stocks. These have to be watched and they have to be watched closely. Um, and, and in the light of the G20 meeting, we also have to make the consideration, even if we have a good bullish signal, do we want to take that risk ahead of that G20 meeting? So consider that as I point out some of these stocks. Another stock that you might want to keep on your list and be thinking about is Snap. Snap has been moving up this nice little trend. There's that nice tight consolidation again. We're waiting to see if those bulls can push this on through and pop it out. But I'm kind of watching that closely, paying attention to that chart, and want to stay um, on the ball here for uh, that potential move higher. So kind of keep an eye on that. As you can see, I've placed an alert on that chart, waiting to see if that can move. I really like this chart in TTWO, and I've been mentioning this over and over and over. TTWO, after breaking through a significant level of resistance right here, showing strength, holding that level in here, and then yesterday, finally, um, showing that little bullish move uh, in TTWO. Keep an eye on this. It looks like there may be some upside potential here in, um, in this chart. Um, watch that closely. A chart that's coming up out of a bottoming pattern, um, Activision. Activision trying to show some bullishness here. Now, one thing I will tell you about Activision, it is a challenging stock to trade. It whips such big whips that it can be very challenging. So if you decide to trade something like this, go in with your eyes wide open. However, this is a pattern that I um, like um, a lot and tend to trade 
uh, patterns like this a lot. And this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. This stock has oversold itself down in here and has built this nice base and we're starting to round back up. And as you can see, holding right in here, breaking above that 50, pulling back, kind of dragging out that 50 and now moving on up here, we have that potential move in Activision to maybe move on up, let alone the idea that we may have a bit of an inverted head and shoulders type pattern that is formed here on ATVI. So kind of keep an eye on that uh, chart. There may be some opportunity coming into that trade. Something very, very different would be Microsoft. Microsoft has been holding, uh, you know, holding a trend for a long time. Um, staying nice and strong in here. Now, Microsoft had an ugly day this week, really pulling back hard. But notice that we have just stopped. There's no selling really going on here now. We just kind of stopped that move. Kind of keep an eye on Microsoft. If this continues to rest across this area in here, moving over toward its trend, possibly even pulling back to this level of support in a nice controlled way, we want to watch this for that next opportunity maybe up um, in that in that position. So kind of keep an eye on that. I'm also going to mention AMD. Now AMD has pulled back significantly from its downtrend. Yesterday AMD caught another upgrade. Notice this daily chart. We're moving up this trend. It's a little bit wild in price action in here. But I am currently holding this as a longer term trade. I believe there's a a good story to be uh, told here on um, AMD. I'm holding a very large profit having entered this trade with options, longer term options, back over here, holding this um, right now. And I see a nice weekly entry signal here. For those who like those little bit longer trades and believe that AMD can maybe break out of this high here, then there may be an opportunity for you here in this trade. Um, I can't tell you whether it will break out. I just think the story, their new chipset, everything is looking pretty good. And we may have that opportunity in here. That upgrade yesterday certainly helped. And um, that opportunity does exist. So just wanted to pass that on as a, as a possibility. Maybe watch that. But, you know, full disclosure, I just want to let everyone know that I am holding this. And I've been holding this since back here. I'm, I'm very, very close at this point, it pulled. I was up over 90% on the trade. Um, that pulled back. I think I'm about 86, 87% up on this position um, as I speak. So, any more movement up, I'm going to be uh, very tickled in this in this trade, and um, we'll be watching it closely. So, with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all that great day of trading, and more importantly, hey, just I want to caution you once again to be just a little bit careful of how you approach this day um, considering the G20 meeting. Hey, it's perfectly acceptable if you look at the G20 and, and say, look, I don't think it's going to be any event at all, and you make those calls. I just want to bring that up just to caution you to be careful not to overload or overtrade ahead of a big event like that. And then also remember, we have the holiday week that follows. So that holiday week you know, can usually be very anemic in price action. We could, which can make um, moves very violent um, um, in, in this, you know, um, kind of consider that and, and think carefully about how much risk you want to carry into this weekend. Everyone take care, have an awesome, awesome day and an awesome weekend. We'll talk to you all bright and early next Monday morning. Have a great one.